Hello everyone, my name is Miss McKenna and I am from Kids Quest Children's Museum. Today our story time is going to be all about animals in the swamp. But first, I like to start off every story time with a song. So can I get a drum roll please? If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet. If you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet. If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet. If you're happy and you know it, shout hooray, hooray. If you're happy and you know it, shout hooray. Hooray! If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, shout hooray! Hooray! Awesome job, everybody. Thank you all so much for singing along. Can we give ourselves a round of applause? Yay! Awesome! All right, so again, our story time today is all about animals that live in the swamp. Can you think of any animals that live in the swamp? I can think of maybe some frogs. Frogs would live in a swamp. Or maybe an alligator. Or a flamingo. We've got lots of animals that live in the swamp. So, I'm going to start off with a story called Deep in the Swamp. Let's see if we can find any of the animals we just named in our story here. So on the front cover, I see a bird. What color is this bird? This is a yellow bird. And I see some alligators. A mama alligator and some baby alligators. Deep in the swamp. Deep in the swamp, in the morn, warm morning sun, lived, what animals are these? Lived a mother river otter and her little pup, one. Splash, said the mother. I splash, said the one. So they splashed and they played in the warm morning sun. Deep in the swamp, where the neverwets grew, lived a mother snapping turtle and her little turtles, too. Swim, said the mother. We swim, said the two. So they swam through the prairies where the neverwets grew. How many turtles can we see? I see one, two, and three. Deep in the swamp, in a hollow cypress knee, lived a mother flame bird and her little chicks three. Sweet, sweet, trilled the mother. Sweet, sweet, trilled the three. So they trilled loud and long in their hollow cypress knee. We see our yellow birds again. Deep in the swamp, in a thicket on the shore, lived a mother marsh. What animal is this? A rabbit. Mother marsh rabbit and her little bunnies, four. Snooze, said the mother. We snooze, said the four. So they snoozed all day long in their thicket on the shore. Deep in the swamp, where the water lilies thrive, lived a mother alligator and her little gators, five. Bask, 
said the mother. We bask, said the five. So they basked in the sun where the water lilies thrive. Can we count all five? Ready? One, two, three, four, and five. That one's tricky. He's laying on his back. Deep in the swamp, in a nest built of sticks, lived a mother blue heron and her little chicks. Six. Soar, said the mother. We soar, said the six. So they soared through the sky where they're, with their nest built of sticks. Can you see their nest? It's right down here. Have you seen a nest before? Deep in the swamp, where the cypress reached to heaven, lived a mother, do you know what animal this is? A damselfly, and her little flies, seven. Dry, said the mother, we dry, said the seven. So they dried their new wings, where the cypress reached to heaven. Deep in the swamp, where the cattails grow straight, lived a mother, what animal is this? A bullfrog, and her little froglets eight. Jump, said the mother. We jump, said the eight. So they jumped through the shallows where the cattails grow straight. Deep in the swamp where the bamboo vines twine, lived a mother rat snake and her little snakes nine climb said the mother we climb said the nine so they climbed up a pine where the bamboo vines twine that's a lot of snakes deep in the swamp in an underwater den lived a mother crayfish and her little crayfish ten. Have you seen a crayfish before? Scurry, said the mother. We scurry, said the ten. So they scurried after tadpoles near the underwater den. The end. Can we give that story a round of applause? Yay! So, for our first song today, we're gonna sing a song about a little alligator. Can we make our arms like an alligator? We're gonna swim, just like this, and snap, just like that. All right, so we're gonna count down from five. Can you hold up five fingers? One, two, three, four, five. We're gonna sing. Five little monkeys swinging in a tree. Teasing Mr. Alligator, can't catch me. Along came Mr. Alligator, quiet as can be, and snapped one monkey right out of the tree. So we had five monkeys. Now we have four. Four little monkeys swinging in a tree. Teasing Mr. Alligator, can't catch me. Along came Mr. Alligator, quiet as can be, and snapped one monkey right out of the tree. So we had four monkeys, now we have three monkeys. Three little monkeys swinging in a tree, teasing Mr. Alligator, can't catch me. Along came Mr. Alligator, quiet as can be, and snapped one monkey right out of the tree. So we had three monkeys. How many monkeys do we have now? Two, two monkeys. Two little monkeys swinging in a tree. Teasing Mr. Alligator, can't catch me. Along came Mr. Alligator, quiet as can be, and snapped one monkey right out of the tree. How many monkeys do we have left? Do you remember? We had two, and now we have just one. 
One little monkey swinging in a tree, teasing Mr. Alligator can't catch me. Along came Mr. Alligator, quiet as can be, and snapped one monkey right out of the tree. How many monkeys do we have now? We had just one. Now one's gone. How many do we have now? We have no more monkeys. There are no more monkeys. Awesome job, everybody. Thank you all so much for singing along. Can we give that song a round of applause? Yay! Thank you so much. I have one more story about an animal that lives in the swamp. This is called Mert the Blurt. What animal do we see on the cover here? I see one, two, three frogs. Three frogs. Mert the Blurt. Mert was a blurt. Blurt, blurt, blurt went mert, mert, mert. Do you see lots of other animals here? We see birds. We see frogs. We see snakes. Have we seen these animals before? In our last story. Some flamingos. Some hippos. Hold your tongue, Mert, said Mert's father. Mert held his tongue, but Mert still went blurt, blurt, blurt. Mert blurted out all the family secrets to everyone he met. Blurt, 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 blurt. We see some animals are covering their ears. Some are laughing. Some look mad. This one over here looks mad. My father wears long johns when he roller skates. My mother wears a bikini when she distos. These seem like very silly secrets, huh? Is nothing sacred, cried Mert's father. Not to me, Pop, blurted Mert. Do they look happy? They look maybe upset or annoyed. Aunt Patty wears soft contact lenses. Uncle Max wears disguises. What is he pretending to be? A snake. Uncle Benny drives a gas guzzler. Aunt Martha goes skinny dipping. Uncle Bernie likes frog legs. And I saw Mommy kissing Santa Claus. The creeps next door were shocked. What animal are the creeps? They're alligators. The nincompoops in the rear were appalled. We see some hippos. All the relatives on both sides of the family were mortified. They never told Mert anything for fear he would blurt it out. But Mert found things out anyway. And he went, blurt, blurt, blurt. No one seems very happy with Mert right now. Why does Mert blurt, cried Mert's mother. Who knows, who cares, cried Mert's father. All the world hates a blurter. Mert doesn't look very upset though, does he? Nah. Oh, what will become of Mert? cried Mert's mother and father. Nobody here looks very really happy with Mert. What became of Mert was... He became a famous TV news anchorman. And now... He blurt, blurt, blurts the news to the whole wide world.
everyone looks much happier with him now. The end. Can we give that story a round of applause? Yay! Just like that. Awesome job. All right, so I have one last song for us today. We're gonna sing about five green and speckled frogs. So we are counting down again, just like our monkeys. Can you show me five on one hand? Just like that. All right, our song is very simple. It just goes, five green and speckled frogs sitting on a speckled log, eating the most delicious bugs. Can you eat some bugs with me? Yum, yum, yum. One jumped into the pool where it was nice and cool. Now there are four green and speckled frogs. Ribbit, ribbit. All right, now we're down to four. Can you show me four on one hand? Four green and speckled frogs sitting on a speckled log, eating the most delicious bugs. Yum, yum, yum. One jumped into the pool where it was nice and cool. Now there are three green and speckled frogs. Ribbit, ribbit. We have three now. Can you count up three on your fingers? Ready? One, two, and three. Three green and speckled frogs sitting on a speckled log, eating the most delicious bugs. Yum, yum, yum. One jumped into the pool where it was nice and cool. Now there are two green and speckled frogs. Ribbit, ribbit. Now we have two. Two green and speckled frogs sitting on a speckled log, eating the most delicious bugs. Yum, yum, yum. One jumped into the pool where it was nice and cool. Now there is one green and speckled frog. Ribbit, ribbit. We've got one left. Are you ready? One green and speckled frog sitting on a speckled log, eating the most delicious bugs. Yum, yum, yum. One jumped into the pool where it was nice and cool. Now there are no green and speckled frogs. Ribbit, ribbit. Yay, very good job. Everybody, why don't we give ourselves a round of applause? Just like this. Thank you all so much for joining me for story time today. Make sure to subscribe so you can see all of our story times. And we'll see you again next time.